Today is the last day of the Indiana legislative session, at least that's what lawmakers are hoping for. As the session comes to an end, two priority bills have made it across the finish line. WRTV's Meredith Hackler is live at the State House now with more on where lawmakers stand at this hour. Meredith. Mark, one bill, one priority bill is on the governor's desk, and it was a priority by both House Democrats and House Republicans. House Enrolled Act 1004 will give what's called a 13th check. It's an additional payment for public retirees. But that 13th check, which will benefit around 100,000 Hoosiers, didn't come without a fight. Some Senate Republicans weren't in favor of giving public retirees an additional payment. Legislation for that check comes up just about every session. So some Senate Republicans wanted to see a long-term solution. That long-term solution at first didn't include a check for retirees this year. But as lawmakers do, the House and the Senate came to a compromise. Now the bill gives retirees an additional check and lays out a format to give retirees either a cost of living adjustment or a 13th check moving forward. Public retirees say they're tired of the fight every year too and that this check will help them get by this year. It's a little bit of fiscal relief and it's a little bit of personal relief to, to know that you've got a little bit extra coming in to help. Uh, as I said once before, grocery pi uh, prices continue for some reason to go up, creep up, uh, even though the economy is doing well. The 13th check will be in the accounts of public retirees by July and no later than October of this year. Now, another priority bill that just made it across the finish line about 20 minutes ago is House Enrolled Act 1002. That bill aims at combating anti-Semitism by protecting Hoosier students on college campuses as well in K as K-12 classrooms. Now, it does that by defining anti-Semitism, and the bill faced controversy over examples of anti-Semitism being listed in the legislation. Now, those examples have been removed while still referencing the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism. Now, as you heard, lawmakers are aiming to be done today, but what hour that will be or what time it will be this evening is yet to be seen. Live at the State House, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Meredith, thank you. Thank you. You can follow the big developments of the legislative session and see some of the bills that are turning into laws. Just go to our website, wrtv.com politics.